Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today in this video we are going to learn how to design a crystal system uh, like the BCC, simple Fourier FCC using virtual crystal approximation method. And suppose you are working with alloys, peroxide materials or a mixture. In those cases, you cannot directly design your uh, unit cell. It is, uh, you know, a bit uh, difficult to manage it. Suppose you are uh, working how to, you know, change the composite percentage composition of your alloy material or your peroxide material if you want to do the study theoretical study uh, on that so it's not easy uh, uh, theoretically so in that case we use virtual uh, virtual crystal approximation so here you can see this uh, we see a tool is a very powerful tool you can use for designing alloy and mixture new system in this case what we do is uh, I'll show you uh, with an example so that it, it will be clear for you. Okay, just assume this is your crystal system. Okay, so first what we'll do is uh, I'll delete this. I'll you know, like start with the zero. Like from the scratch, I will start. So in the beginning, what we'll do is. Suppose we have crystal lattice, okay, just assume you are having crystal lattice, go to the build menu, go to the crystals, go to the build crystal and in this case, go to the lattice parameter, suppose you are having the lattice parameter as 3.2 angstrom, just make a cube with 3.2 angstrom and build a crystal and go to the display style and here you go to the, uh, this you make uh, as a black. Now this is your unit cell. Now go to the add atom menu, add atoms. Suppose you are having uh, element as aluminium and if you want to make a simple cubic system, you want to study a simple cubic system with a mixture of uh, aluminium and oxygen as 50-50 composition, you want to design a system. In that case what we will do is, uh, we will put elements at the corner of the unit cell if you want to study a simple cubic, if you want to study the body center you will put in the body center also. If you want to study the face center, you can design the face center yourself as well. Uh, right now I am just making a simple cubic system. Okay, so that I will be putting one element at the corner. I have just placed one element at the corner and go to the display style. I will make ball and stick model so that it will be nicely visible to everyone. Now you can see this is the simple cubic system with the lattice parameter that I have given as 3.2 angstrom. Okay, now this is a, right now it is a aluminium uh, unit cell with a simple cubic lattice and aluminium is 100%. But I want a lattice, simple cubic lattice with aluminium and oxygen, 50-50% composition. I want to run that calculation. So select everything, your entire elements. Okay, now go down here in the properties menu. And here you can see one menu with is mixture atom. Okay, here if you want to use your VCA principle, you can use it here. Right now it is no mix, 100% composition is from aluminum. Double click here, you can see the right now it is a pure metal, so it is 100% composition. But I want a, a mixture, okay, I, I want to mixture uh, some other elements also. So in that case, suppose I want to add just assume just this is an hypothetical system okay don't take it seriously you can make your own alloys whatever you wish so you can put here and suppose oxygen I am putting is as uh, just 50 percent okay and this aluminium I am putting as uh, 50 percent no plus okay so now you are having a the system is aluminium and oxygen, 50-50% composition. Suppose you want to add uh, one more element, you can add, suppose I'm adding hydrogen or suppose I'm adding one metal like chromium and that chromium I'm adding as a 5%. Okay, so all of this composition has to be 100% totally. Since it is 5%, some of the element composition has to be plus. I will make it 45%. Now it is uh, totally 100% composition in uh, elements we have aluminium, oxygen and chromium. Okay, so this is right now whatever unit cell you are watching, this is a unit cell. Uh, this is a 
simple cubic crystal system with aluminium oxygen and chromium where aluminium is roughly around 45 percent oxygen is 50 percent and the chromium is 5 percent Similarly, you can have an alloy or a peroxide material with different composition. You can vary the composition and we can, uh, you can do the further calculation on the studies. Okay. Uh, this is the way to do the, uh, use the VCA principle to, uh, you know, create the unit cell uh, containing uh, alloys or mixture and you can use for further calculation. If you have any doubt, I put it in the comment section. Thank you for watching the videos. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you.